Hi guys, I, uh, I've had some questions about how to, how to use SymPy and PyLab together. So I'm going to post this notebook on ACE, but I thought I'd just take a second to share it with you. Um, basically, there's different ways to do this. You can do it in such a way that it's much more robust than the way I'm showing you, but it's also more complicated, and I thought maybe simpler is better than complicated. So here's the idea. Um, you start out by doing your analytical work with SymPy. So you say from SymPy import star and you call the uh, init printing, I don't want to do it this way, init printing function and that sets up the printing so that it's uh, pretty. Okay. Then you define your symbols and you can define your function just like we did before. I can calculate a force function for example from a potential by taking minus the derivative with respect to x and we get the force. And then once you get your analytical expression the way you like it, the idea is you, you call init printing again, but this time you set pretty print equal to false. And what that does is it forces the thing to display in Python syntax. So that's handy because then I can say, okay, now I've got the force written out in an expression that I could use in Python to evaluate it. So you can, uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Now the thing is, you're, you've imported star from SymPy, and so all the functions like exp and sine and cosine, those are all SymPy functions. They're analytical functions. They're not numerical functions. So they're not going to behave correctly if you, uh, if you try to use them to make plots and things. But the idea is now that you've finished with your analytical work, now you uh, run the PyLab inline magic command. And it's going to give you this error that says uh, PyLab has clobbered a bunch of variables like plot and exp and pi and hyperbolic tangent, but we don't care because we're done with SymPy. We don't need it anymore. So what we can do is simply um, simply march ahead, ignoring the... See, if I run, if I run PyLab in line again, it's okay because it's already clobbered the variables. They don't, we don't need them anymore. As long as we have our, our uh, expression that we can cut and paste, we, we can march ahead and, uh, in fact, I can define... Uh, Here's what we'll do. I'll simply uh, go up here and copy this force function the way it's printed here. And I'm just going to paste it right into this function. And you can see it's actually exactly the same. Um, hang on. Paste it. And uh, so we use the analytical function expressed in a Python syntax in a Python function. And now I can just go through and redefine alpha, x0, um, and I don't even need this line because of the way I'm doing it. Uh, we define x and so on, and then we just plot, just like, just like we did before. So that's all there is to it. I can just, basically we use SymPy to derive this expression. We don't do it by hand, we use SymPy, but then we convert it to a Python that we can just paste into a Python function. That's the idea. The other trick I wanted to point out, you know how I showed you that you can get a, a zoomable window <clears throat> if you don't say in line. If you don't say in line when you import PyLab or when you use the PyLab magic command, um, you get uh, windowed graphs. I found out that you could use TK if you say PyLab TK and then rerun your plot, it produces a window that you can then zoom you can use all the controls and zoom in and so on. Um, <clears throat> if you want to go back to an inline version, you just use the magic magic function again and execute again, and it goes back to inline. So you can actually switch back and forth between inline and windowed uh, without having to restart the, uh, the notebook. So that's all there is. We'll talk to you guys next time.